Hello producers, it's Özgün here. I was working on Medic Saber Follow Me remake and I thought a nice opportunity to show you how to balance kick and bass. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to balance your kick and bass. If you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. For the copyright reasons, I won't play the original track, but you can check it on the YouTube. I put my original track as my reference and I send it to a new mixer channel. Let's root it like to the out, not to the master. This will be a separate master now. If I put something here, it won't affect my original master chain. So the first thing you have to do is listen the track, but you can listen it like this. So just cut all the highs. So I know this track is D sharp. I'm cutting till D sharp. Now I will only hear the sub and the low mids, and then I can put a span to analyze its spectrum. Now I will just listen and see how it goes. But first, I will just lower it a couple dBs because I need some headroom before I export my track to the mastering. So just make it like minus nine and take a listen. So I see my sub is like middle of the 36 and the 30 and my low mids are near with the 36. So I need to balance my kick and bass on these levels to match the perfect stage. For this, first of all, I put some kick. It's something like this. And let's put another span to the master channel to see my levels. And I put some tonal kick like this. If you watch my previous tutorial about how to layer tonal kicks, you know this technique. So you just layer one punchy kick with some tonal kick and make your own tonal kick. So it's originally something like this. And I cut the beginning part. So with my kick, they sound like this. So, as I can see, my low mids are way too loud. And also my sub is a bit too much too. So, I will just lower this guy. And not to hear the reference, I will just remove its outside now for now. So, this is reference span, this is my span. Now, I will play both of them and try to match them. So maybe we can put the same equalizer to my master to exactly see what's going on. I will cut my tonal kicks highs, maybe even more. Now I can balance them. So we are lacking some of the 80, 90 hertz. So maybe we can boost them. This area can be boosted. I hear and see this is extra. So we should dip it like this because the original track doesn't have that resonating frequencies. Now I'm adjusting the final touch. Yeah, now they are almost looking same. So now I'm removing the high cut from my master chain and let's take a listen. Yeah, they seems to be balanced really well. Let's hear them in the mix. It's not finished by the way, but for the sake of this tutorial, they will be enough to show you what's going on.
So definitely the original track is mastered, so there's so much compression going on in the track. You can't be 100% accurate, but if you just match the levels, so it's the best way to take a reference track and examine its balances on the low end. Don't forget to pick the kick and the sub, the samples similar. With a different kind of kick, you will never be able to get the same levels. So keep your sample selection similar and match the balances. This is how you can easily balance your kick and bass. Today's tutorial was it. It was a quick tutorial for you guys. I hope you learned something from it and apply it to your own productions. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video. Bye bye.